gone now. But wow, do you see that? It went on shore on that little rock there. This summer it wasn't as relaxed as I hoped for. Renovating a new house was so draining and that meant that I couldn't spend too much time at the place I call paradise, my cabin. But I did get some nice moment in nature anyway and that I would like to share with you now. A nice surprise was when I found a beautiful butterfly called Scar's Copper. And I always love to do some macro photography in the summer. This is perfect slow life in my cabin. Photographing macro. After weeks with stressful days, with like renovating a house and move out of apartment, all that kind of stuff, it took the energy right out of me. So it's so nice to be out in nature now and what a better way to spend it than heading up to the Bibo Valley. So beautiful and calm. A little drip of rain, but forecast says it's going to be a little bit more sun. But it's so calming. But for now, my mind is here at this beautiful place. I found my position now and uh, this is so nice. I cannot find a better way to spend an evening. It's perfect, so more, so calm and so relaxing with almost no wind, but the wind direction is like blowing from this side to this side. So it's blowing into shore and I hope I will be covered by that. But the great thing about this uh, floating blind here is that it will cover my scent better. And the um, floating blind actually also had spent the night here in this little valley. So it should be okay to like get rid of all my scent. And uh, yeah, so I'm a little shielded from my own scent. And I think that will be perfect just perfect and I hope I hope the beaver will start to eat in front of me I have only seen the beaver eat once and that was last year and far far away but I haven't seen the beaver eat here in this little valley and I 
know that the, normally the beaver will start to eat. The first thing that it does when it comes out the beaver hut is to start to eat. And that is also the last thing that it does before going into the hut in the morning. But yeah, we just have to cross our fingers. And I also put some branches and some leaves on the on the floating blind to hopefully like get rid of even more of that silhouette and maybe the beaver could be a little bit more relaxed around this device here. Suddenly the beaver comes closer, closer. And closer. And my heart beat it so fast. gone now but wow did you see that it went on shore on that little rock there <laughs> I finally got the beaver <laughs> on shore a couple of photos there I didn't see the whole beaver I wish I I could that bad wow <laughs> it went on shore I wish, wish it could be a little bit longer on that little rock there but ah, so nice ah, I got my wish come true though young beaver went to that new dam I can see it behind there but it's not easy to, to find a good place to photograph it but it is here it is here
quick shout out to Saroy for sending this awesome tripod here. This is designed for wildlife photographers. And the great thing about this is not just the colors that is blending in more in, in the environment because of the camouflage uh, color that it has on the whole tripod. But this comes also with uh, the gimbal head hair. And I have used this similar gimbal head from Saroy before and I love it. But this time here, it's uh, even greater because of this little knob underneath there. The great thing here is that you are able to lever it when you uh, photographing from an uneven ground, maybe some uh, slopes or hillside. I can see that it's almost impossible to get a great place to place it without like having a, a weird angle that it may, might be tipping over. But when you got this, uh, little leveling uh, possibility here it's so much more easier to maneuver it in uh, the slopes and the hillside when you want to have it uh, even level and then you have a more balance there's a lesser chance for the tripod to tip over so this is really really nice feature of this this tripod here must admit this is my favorite tripod to support my big 600 millimeter lens with my set 9 and the great thing is also the knobs there underneath is made by aluminum uh, of course that can be a little bit cold that's the only issue but uh, on the winter I use gloves anyway the difference between the rubber and the aluminum here is the rubber is over time can be like moldering up and, and uh, like get destroyed but that doesn't happen with the aluminum so go check them out this is a perfect design tripod with the gimbal for wildlife photographers.